Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, we're gonna do a quick uh, tech video for you today, and it's how to check the crank run out on your twin camera Evo Harley. Now you can either do this with the specialty tool that holds the dial indicator, spins up on here, and this will thread into any twin cam engine. And you can take your dial indicator, drop it down in here, and just the weight of the dial indicator will um, hold it in place. So what's happening is this dial indicator measures travel up and down. So it's sitting on the end of this pinion or the end of this crankshaft rod. So we have the dial face set to zero right there. Hopefully you can see that. Square it up a wee little bit. And now, we'll spin the crankshaft on this thing. And as you can see, it's kind of going down to almost the one thou mark, coming back up to zero, maybe a tad past zero. So it has a run out of about one thousandths of an inch. Or you could say it's plus or minus a half a thou, depending on how you want to explain it. But either way, this is a good crankshaft. Now this is an SNS twin cam engine, so of course it's good because SNS crankshafts are pretty much bulletproof. Now one of the other ways to do this, if you don't have the actual, if you don't want to spend the money on the specialty tool, you can do this with just a standard machinist magnetic base dial indicator. This has a magnetic base, so you can put it on something steel. There's all these little thumb screws on it, so you can move it around and position it in place. Position it into place on the running face of the crankshaft. And again, and again, once it's up on here, we'll set this indicator to zero. And we'll spin the crankshaft and we get about the same measurement. I shouldn't say about the same measurement, we get exactly the same measurement. Plus or minus a half a thou, or a run out of total of one thousandths of an inch. Now it should be noted, if you have a dyna or a bagger, you cannot just put this magnetic base on the frame, because the engine itself is rubber mounted. So as you go to crank it over, the engine may move slightly, and it would in turn move this needle and give you an inaccurate reading. It will be fine on a soft tail because they're rigid mount engines, but if you're going to use a magnetic base on a diner bagger, you're going to have to find something steel on the engine to attach it to. Uh, on a lot of engines, the oil filter face on the oil filter mount on the front of the case is a good option, or possibly, or you might be able to possibly thread it into one of the mounting holes for the cam cover. That's all I got.